We're talking about uh, data path and control again. Um, we're going to keep talking about the single cycle data path in this video and in the next few. And we're going to take a look at uh, a few different perspectives, or a couple different perspectives. Uh, one being this rather detailed perspective with our diagram here. And the other being the overall uh, kind of view uh, where we started talking about forwarding and things like that with the pipeline architecture, um, which we'll interject with um, a, a little bit here and there over these next few videos. And then next week we'll talk about um, pipeline uh, architecture. So the first thing to mention is that uh, we're talking about single cycle here. <clears throat> so what does single cycle mean? So single cycle means that there's only one instruction per cycle. In other words, in, in our processor that we have here, there's only one instruction being executed at one time. Um, as we've seen from uh, some of the pipeline stuff that we've done in class, um, you know, there's multiple instructions going on in these different stages. So in, in the single cycle data path here, we only have one. So there's when, when we read an instruction from uh, memory, it goes in and checks out its registers or whatever it does, and then it goes to the ALU. There's nothing else in here at that time. Just that one instruction in the entire processor at once. So um, to kind of compare this with our overall view, we have this first section where we typically start off in, where we read the instruction from memory. This is the instruction fetch. That's terrible handwriting. Uh, this, this is the instruction. Let me redo that. This is the instruction fetch section, or, or, or a little cycle in our, in our diagram. Instruction fetch. Oh, wait. That's definitely not correct. There we go. Instruction fetch. Then we have our registers, we'll register read and in this section where we typically put a little line there. And this is the instruction decode section. Now, remember, we're not going to do any forwarding or anything in this, in this case because it's only single cycle. There's no need for forwarding because there's only one thing going on at one time. So in the next, we have a little ALU. I'll try to make this. A little bit more representative here, right? Where we typically kind of do that thing. All right, I'll try to make a small one here. All right, we have that. This is our ALU. We can actually write it here. Oh, okay. Then we have our memory in this section. All right, if we need to read or write to memory, we'd go there and our memory section and then afterwards uh, we usually go to uh, this write back stage which is typically right here in our diagram this is a messy diagram but that's okay this is our write back stage typically we go there right like in our diagram here so we've got that there. Uh, we'll do this right back. All right. But, however, that piece is not here on this diagram. Uh, but if you follow the, the lines of this diagram, the right is actually back in the register. So these two things here are equivalent. They're the same actual piece of hardware. Okay, this is the register register uh, file, if you will, and this is also the register file. Okay, so if any of you were confused about that, this is what's going on. We're just writing to it instead of reading from it. So, and then all this other stuff up here is just in the single cycle data path, this stuff is just telling each of these pieces what to do. This control tells the register file what it's doing, tells the ALU what it's doing, memory what it's doing, this is what it's doing, and so on. So we don't, need, that's, we don't really need to 
draw that in this overall diagram. Same thing with the program counter, it just goes to the next instruction. So we kind of see how our diagram resembles this overall diagram here, right here. Kind of making a mess here. Now we'll just kind of talk quickly about um, the the pipeline version. Um, basically, we take this the same the same overall architecture here, but we just we want to have a way to save the state of that previous instruction. So we have this little set of registers to remember what was going on in this in this section. So we just save that. What came out of this section? Just save that and pass it on. Same thing with right here. We just have some set of registers and another set and we're just saving the state so that we can um, have other instructions going on uh, at the ex exact same time without losing um, the previous instruction.